Good morning, folks. Doing the ritual, we're getting a little bit of fuel before we get started. Oh boy. Fishing a BFL today right here on my home water, Lake Hartwell. Even though it's my home water, I have not fished a tournament here since 2020, I think it was. And then from 2020 all the way back to like 2014. So it was like six or seven years in there where I didn't really fish any tournaments on Hartwell. I don't even know it that well anymore. I don't know what's going on, but I just wanted to fish a tournament. So here we are. Let's see how it goes today. All right, so I'm going to go pick up my co-angler. It is freezing cold, first of all. Yesterday it was 78, maybe 80. Today, 34. Stocking caps, hoodies, all the cold stuff is what, look, boots. I'm supposed to be wearing sandals. I'm wearing boots in April. Good luck. Yes, sir. I was behind, I was behind, I was about two boats behind that uh, that green boat right there. I wish so, wish so. He's a little small one. Don't worry about it. I got the net. Nah, I got it. He's a little small one anyway. Might not be that small. I don't know. Wow. Look how fat that thing is. Got him. Let me know if you want me to net it. That little spinner bait? Oh boy, come on. Mr. Anthony. Can we net him? Uh, right. Don't wait too late now. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. It feels very small. Ain't no smaller than the last one I caught. That point right there is good too, that one he's sitting on. Ah, oh, you can do this all day. You just don't catch that much weight. You might catch a good one, but you probably won't. There he is. That's a better one. That's a better one. Feels like it anyway. Um, I got it. Just keep fishing, man. I'm kind of used to netting them. Watch me lose them. They'd be like, God dang it. Why didn't you get the freaking net? I'm too close up on the point anyway. It felt good when you hit it. They also spawn out here too, so. There he is. Oh, he come off? No, does he come off or no? No, it's, I got it. This ain't no size. This ain't no size. Put your hand up and see if you can hold them clouds about right there. This is a small one. Yeah, and it actually muddied up the last couple days with the wind. I think that's five, I'm not sure. Perfect. My hands are cold. Yeah, it is cold. We're gonna move to another spot. It doesn't seem like this is working out. I'll, only thing I'm catching is small fish out here throwing a jerk bait. I found some really good ones when I was, uh, I came and practiced about a half a day before my, I had to pick my son up from school and I caught, I don't know, three or four 
good ones uh, up on the bank just fishing dark spots and then I also saw quite a few spawners even though it's cloudy I'm gonna see if I can see some of those fish spawning and sometimes you can see them better when it's uh, when it's cloudy than you can when it's sunny because you don't have as much glare but I don't know I didn't expect for it to be cloudy today so this is gonna be interesting so believe it or not that cloud cover like that actually helps you a little bit because what happens is when it's uh, when it's straight up sunny it creates so much glare on the water that you only get a vision one way or the other it's not as bad when it's a little bit cloudy so i'm gonna have it i'm thinking i'm gonna have to get all fancy smancy this fool on he done had it going yonder way with it i just saw a pretty good one back here on the bed i'm gonna try to spin around see if i can catch this guy like it stayed, even though I was right on top of it, it stayed locked on bed, so I feel pretty good about being able to catch it. I just put on this little black Z-Man crawl. That seems to always works really good when I find one that's locked on bed like that. Some of them you gotta finesse, and then some of them you gotta use this. I feel like this is the right bait. Just gotta get it in the right spot is the biggest thing. It's getting it in the right spot in the bed. This little this little guy right here works really good. It's black and blue. I got a I got a brown and orange one too, but I like the black and blue. I just I can see it a lot better. The black and black and blue one. Got him. The black crawl hit it first time. Huh? Good job, thank you, buddy. He's three pounds. Did I put a black crawl up there? And there's a first cast. Might be three and a half. No, he's not three and a half. It's always you just gotta find the right bait. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> I threw the fish down there and held it. Uh, held the clip. right back there yeah not a big one but I need to wow there's one there's a good one turn around there's a good one that's the one I marked that's a real good one I need that one yeah see him sitting on that catwalk just trying not to spook him, trying to back off and not spook him. Why oh, he went up to that? He went up to it. I think that's something. I cast up there the first time he didn't bite it. There's another one sitting right here. I can barely see him. He's just just deep enough where I can I can't really make out the fish, but every once in a while I'll see the shadow just come through the screen. Just kind of like he just swims through. <sighs> Maybe I was wrong about the clouds. <laughs> I feel like if I had a little bit more sun, I could 
I could maybe catch this one. I do have one little trick. But if I get, like, I, there he is right there. I can see it. I, I can see, Let me try another rod. Let me try something else. Let me try my spinning rod. Sometimes just switching up a different bait. You, you just never know. Some of these fish want a finesse presentation. Some of them want you to kind of hit them in the head. He's just so nervous. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna back off. I'm gonna flip my drop shot in here and let's just let's just move. Let's just let's troll out here in the middle of the cove. And uh I just can't see, you know. Let's try this and see what happens. I'm just gonna open up the bill. Got him. Go. Yeah, dude, I didn't think the fish was gonna bite, so I left it. <laughs> Did you see that? I was going on, I was like, I'll flip it in there one more time. <laughs> yeah, I flipped it out there way out the back and let the bell go. I was like, wait a minute, that's the fish. Dude, it's a good one too. That's the one I've been fishing for for 10 minutes. That's a freaking good one, bro. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I was like, I think he got it. He has it. Kill him. It's like I can't see unless I get right up on them, but then they won't bite when you're on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you gotta give them some room. I got a chance if I can find two more good fish on beds I, I might have a legit chance that last one that that leveled me up really good it's crazy how that fish bit I've been I marked the fish and I couldn't get it to bite it was just real nervous so I flipped my bait over there in the bed and I just backed way out I was actually moved I'd given up on the fish but I just left my bait in there went around the bend as I'm crossing the dock the fish grabbed it I couldn't believe it I've done that before, but I just didn't think that fish was going to bite. I'd really kind of given up on it. So if I can find two more like that, it'll be really, really good today. I got another little spot over here that I marked a few fish. So hopefully I can get over there and try to catch those. We don't have much time. They shortened the day today because of the wind. It's supposed to be really bad wind. You know, they got to make a call. Honestly, it's not even worse than it's been. But my check-in is at 140. Usually you would have about three more hours to fish, but today we're only getting about five hours to fish. So the weights are probably, who knows, the weights could be better, but I don't have much time to catch them. I see this one pretty good. They ain't really reacting to my bait though. I don't like when they don't react, you know, whether it be good or bad. I mean, he's shying away from it. Nah, he ain't shying away, that's what I'm saying. He's not doing anything. It's fine if he shies away, that way I know to keep moving. He's not shying away or nothing. Oh yeah, this one's catchable. It's catchable. 100% catchable. I think it already done did it. Oh yeah, he did it just then. Oh, why'd he come up this way? He hit it. He hit it. This one. He hit it. This one's catchable. Got it.
two pounder in it. In the mouth. That helps a little bit. There's one right on the boat too. Yes, it's going to be out in case you All right, so I just weighed. We finished up the day okay. Um, I had 13 pounds, which I didn't really think I had. I just, I had two really small ones that I couldn't get rid of, but it was a lot of fun to fish this thing, man. I haven't fished a BFL in years. And so um, I'm gonna fish every single one of them. If I'm at home this year, I'm gonna fish them. This is a lot of fun getting the fish back at home. It's, it's crazy, like I don't have an on off meter. So I was just as serious today as I would have been if we were fishing a pro circuit tournament. All right, a little recap, 13 pounds. What does that mean? Is it good? I don't really know if it's good, bad, or indifferent. I was feeling good at the end, man. I, I, I caught a couple good ones, um, but it did. The weather actually kind of like affected the fish a little bit more than I thought. I honestly didn't think the fish, like the fishing was gonna be that bad today. It's, I don't mind the wind blowing here. Like I actually, I love for the wind to blow here on the Savannah River chain, but uh, I don't know, maybe maybe it was a little tougher. A lot of times when it's windy like this, I can catch a lot of fish on jerk bait and all, and I, I hit you know four or five different places and I, I just didn't really catch much. So uh I'm glad I came. I came one day, I dropped the kids off. I came one day and found a few fish on beds. If I hadn't have found those fish on beds, I probably wouldn't have caught much at all today. Like literally probably had seven, eight pounds if I hadn't had that.